Time now 645, saving stages across the country and right here in Northeast Ohio at a time when hundreds are turning down their lights for good. Yeah, the pandemic hitting the live music industry hard. Congress setting aside more than $16 billion in COVID-19 relief funds for independent venues. This morning, we're visiting one local stage where tough days are being made better with the return of live in-person concerts. Thanks for coming out tonight, and thanks to the Beach Club for hosting us and bringing some live music back to uh, the great city of Cleveland. It may look a little different. Our ballroom used to hold 500 people. Um, it now holds basically 16 four-topped tables, or, or four people at a table, uh, which equals 64 people. But the sound of live music, still the same, just in a cozy yet socially distant setting. You're catching a, a really intimate kind of show that is really kind of unique that you wouldn't have gotten pre-COVID. Pre it's what concerts look like now at the Beachland Ballroom, thanks to COVID-19. General Manager Todd Guyman says the club is doing all it can to survive, including massive staff reductions, online fundraisers, and now back to in-person shows. By miracles, uh, we're able to procure either a donor or, uh, you know, something, a, a, an online merch sale that brought us uh, money in. Money to keep the doors open at a time when many can't. The National Independent Venue Association estimates 90% of independent venues across the country are at risk of bankruptcy. The live music industry suffering a reported 30 billion in losses during the pandemic. Between the artists that I have, I personally canceled probably between nine and ten million dollars worth of dates. That's just one little guy. Northeast Ohio's David Spiro manages artists like John Fogarty and Paul Rogers from Bad Company. He says even with vaccination numbers rising and outdoor concert season approaching, don't expect some of your favorite classic rockers to rush back out on stage. After sitting for what will end up being 18 to 20 months uh, and not being out on stage, they got to get in shape in stage shape and it's not something you can do while you're just at home. A different approach for up and coming local band Tropodelic. We sold out six to 10 shows and some places we only played once, you know. Um, I think people are just super hungry right now for entertainment. The band on the road touring the past couple of months, mostly in states with East COVID-19 restrictions, gaining exposure and a much needed cash flow to survive until things get back to normal. You know, we've been doing what we can and, and, and it hasn't come easy and it's come with hesitation and, and reservations and concerns. Um, but yes, so we're going to keep doing what we do and we're going to try to do it as safe as humanly possible. With brighter and hopefully louder days ahead. I think you're going to find that 2022 and 23 are going to be phenomenal years for live music experiences. Katie Eusen, News 5. Yeah, we can't wait. Music Insider is also telling us staffing stage crews for big concerts may also be an issue when more bands do decide to hit the road because we're told many crew members, uh, you know, over the past year decided to seek other lines of employment to get the money to make it through the pandemic. And there is a belief in the industry many of those workers might not return. Country music star Eric Church is hitting the road this fall and he's making a stop here in Cleveland. He's scheduled to perform September 24th at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse as part of his Gather Again tour. It's meant to celebrate a return to live music and large gatherings. Tickets go on sale to the public May 7th at 10 a.m. Church choir members, they can purchase tickets starting May 4th.